Welcome back to the show, everybody. Yo, I just want to take a moment and I just want to talk about an audio visual experience that I just finished experiencing in Donald Glover's Guava Island. Now, when I sat down and was like, when I was watching it, and I like, and like halfway through the movie, I was kind of like, yo, I just want to get on the mic and say something because it was a lot of things that I was seeing, like, given the state thereof, when you talk about one Donald Glover, a.k.a. Childish Gambino, and his career and things like that, and given, like, what the movie was and is and how you can interpret it, it's like, yo, I just came with the following. Now, if we want to start on, like, a really kind of superfluous level, you can start with that, yeah, that like this right here is the Childish Gambino victory lap. Given what This Is America has done for the conscience of the human being thereof and its murder of the Grammys and everything like that, that yo, that you want to really take a look and take a look at Guava Island as a Childish Gambino victory lap on that level, you can't. If you want to take a look at everything that Donald Glover has done as an artist and realize at this point that, yo, that if he want to do him a joint, a moonwalker joint, who going to stop him at this juncture? Like, it ain't a lot of people even giving a, yo, he taking a step back from producing music and things like that to be like, yo, that he can sit up here and produce something this thought-provoking. That thinking about the way that Guava Island ended being a representation of that step back from producing music. If you take it from a geopolitical standpoint of understanding the oppression of people still in the year 2000 and 18, 19, you can take it like that too. There are so many ways to really sit here and interpret Guava Island in a way that may make sense to you. But that's just some of the takeaways that I took. And given that he's still putting in work, like if you haven't gotten a chance to sit down and listen to any of Childish Gambino's music, you should probably do that. If you really want to see like this man at work, like yo, him and the cast of Atlanta are murdering things. Like season one and season two is some of the best TV I've ever had. And, and hitting in one of those episodes is one of my favorite moments in TV I have ever seen. And that's really something for somebody who absorbs as much media as I do, that some of my favorite all time. I'm sitting down in front of the TV Bowman have come from a show that's only two seasons in and given all of this and given what Donald Glover is doing with his career and will continue to do yeah if anybody deserves a victory lap after everything that he's done and Guava Island being that if that's how you want to take it and seeing that he murdered it at Coachella gotta get that man his props and that's all I really want to do is just quickly just get in front of the mic and say I enjoyed this movie not only as an audiovisual experience, but from a metaphorical experience, not only on superfluous level, but really taking a look at how this still rings true in a world that we live in. You know what I'm saying? So it's great that if you haven't seen it, yo, take it, take an hour, sit down and watch it. It is a great watch just on those things alone. So that's that. That's all I really want to say. If I wasn't going to do nothing else tonight, I was going to get on the mic, take a couple of minutes, and dedicate to be like, yo, you should go watch Guava Island. It is really, really good. And just sit there and really, like, take in everything that the movie is and take a look at it and see it from all the different vectors that you possibly can because it deserves that kind of watch. So, again, shout out to Donald Glover. Keep doing your thing, family, as a fan of, of what you do in front of the camera, behind the camera, in the music booth or whatever. Keep doing your thing, family. I do appreciate that, though. So, with all of that being said, all I can ask you politely is to sit back, relax, and stay tuned. You know who I am. You know who you rocking with, and you know what we do. More show for you <laughs> right after these commercial messages. <laughs> yeah, even if I was coming serious, you ain't think you was going to get the maniacal laughter? Mm -mm. Wink and bang, baby. Yo, more show for all of y'all after these commercial messages.